a man is sentenced to life for burying his wife alive. That and more. The show starts right now. All right, welcome listeners to another episode of the show. I am your host, Chris. So let's get right into it. This episode is going to bring us to Arizona, where a man is being sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of a, of parole after pleading guilty to murdering his wife and burying her alive. Like, bruh. Ah. Uh. Wow, this is a sad. I'm just that sad to report that story. These are very man. Yo, all right, hit it. Pull it up. Just hit it. I gotta hear this. A Prescott, Arizona man was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole after pleading guilty to murdering his wife by burying her alive in 2017. Yavapai County Attorney Dennis McGrain said 62-year-old David Michael Pagniano was sentenced to spend the rest of his life in prison for the murder of his wife. Then 39-year-old Sandra Pagniano, who was buried alive in a hand-dug grave near their home. My office pursued the death penalty in this case because of the horrific circumstances surrounding the abduction and murder of a young mother. McGrain said, Sandra Pagniano disappeared while in the process of divorcing her husband in May 2017. Authorities said, while the two were separated, they lived in the same home with their two young daughters. The Yavapai County Sheriff's Office began investigating the circumstances of Sandra Pagniano's suspicious disappearance, leading to a massive manhunt. Sandra Pagniano's body was found bound and gagged in packing tape in a hand-dug grave in a remote area near Prescott. According to the medical examiner, she had been buried alive. The evidence revealed she vigorously struggled while she was in the grave and was likely conscious for up to five minutes after being buried. McGrain said, detectives conducting the investigation discovered two notes filed in the divorce proceeding after Sandra Pagniano disappeared, which she had purportedly written. The letter stated Sandra Pagniano was leaving and handing David Pagniano the vehicles. House in custody of their children. Forensic specialists examined the letters and they were ultimately found to have been written by Sandra Pagniano. Additional evidence presented included cell phone data that showed David Pagniano was in the vicinity of the grave site where his wife was found just days before her death, as well as on the night she went missing. McGrain said Pagniano pleaded guilty to murder on the night before his trial was expected to begin, putting the sentencing decision in the hands of the judge. David Pagniano was sentenced to life in prison for murder as well as an additional 16 and a half years for kidnapping, forgery and fraud. I hope the life sentence brings some closure to the victim's family. McGrain said, I want to be clear that my office will vigorously prosecute anyone who commits a violent crime in Yavapai County. And we will continue to pursue the death penalty in appropriate cases. Oh yeah, this is going to be quick. You, you got to be crazy. All right, we back on all right, um, drop my bomb real quick so I can get my point and my view on this topic. Let's do it. Why you do both? I just asked you to drop the bomb. And then... I don't like this sound guy today, man. I don't... I don't know what's wrong with him. <clears throat> All right, let me get into it. Yeah, man, you play too much. Let's get into it. All right, um... What can you say about this? Listen, I always tell people this. this. This be my advice. If it's that bad, dude, j- just leave. Bruh. That's it. Bruh. I don't understand why he had it. To me, this was senseless. It was a very, very stupid, 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 and senseless crime. Now, in some situations, like usually the uh, the woman is not the one that that leaves in in you know the divorce, but she was like, "Yo, you can have everything. I just want to leave." Wait, what? 
She pulled a Tina Turner right there. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Yeah. What Tina Turner say? Just let me keep my name. Bruh. That's it. But I'm just saying, I'm not making fun of Tina Turner. But um, <laughs> I'm just saying. Only thing this woman wanted to do was just leave. He, uh, She allowed him to keep the, the house cars the kids you can have all the stuff you can keep all your stuff only thing i want to do is just leave and get out this relationship and that's what this woman sat there and uh she tried to do but hold, hold up i almost forgot almost forgot Ooh, just almost slipped my mind let's drop some church bells for this woman please this is something this is very very this is this is sad i was i was stunned when i, I saw it i was like what he he buried her alive and imagine being buried alive and this man what he did you know what is that okay what he did was this man went out and made the grave himself he dug it by hand Himself, bruh, and then went and stuffed her in it and covered it up. Wait, what? That that that. Tell me that don't sound like something out of a movie, bruh. Let's give this guy a dummy the dummy buzzer real quick because he is definitely going to sit in jail for the rest of his life. I mean, listen. He kidnapped her, assaulted her, buried her in the hole. And this whole time he has their children in the house. Now, why they were residing in the same house? Okay, it doesn't really. Oh, wait, what do you say? Okay, so I'm just getting this news that it had to do with the finances. It, and it probably did, probably, you know, because she probably didn't have uh, the amount to just move out at that time, especially when he's getting everything. You know what I'm saying? He's getting everything. So, you know, I mean, Bruh. I, mean I, I can understand that part. I can understand that part. Well, I don't understand, but why he did what he did now she's leaving you the house she's leaving you the kids she's leaving you the car she's leaving you all the money she's leaving you all these things that women usually suck most men dry for Bruh. okay and most divorces you know how men have to pay for two lives Bruh. i'm dead serious because you got to pay for your life and your 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 ex's life you got to pay for for both of y'all lifestyles. Wait, what? So, I mean, that's why a lot of men be broke. Or they gotta work double. You know what I mean? Bruh. But in this situation, she was ready to leave it. Give it all up. You can have it. You know what I'm saying? Like Tina Turner. You can have it. You can have it. But, <laughs> but this man went ahead and decided, you know what? I don't give a damn. I'm still going to kill you anyway. Bruh. And because of that, for that reason, my brother, you are going to spend the rest of your life in jail. Um, and he's also, he doesn't have a, what is it? No chance of parole. In, in jail for the rest of your life. No chance of parole. And he also has no access to the children. Now, the children at this current time to what we dug up at this current time is with other family members so you know let's give them more applause for stuff man i always give the applause when other family members step in because in a lot of these situations some of these kids some of these kids not most but some of these kids when things like this happen and one parent is lost and uh another parent is going to jail some of these kids end up in the system. They don't necessarily go to other family members. You know what I'm saying? They end up in the system. Or they may temporarily go to other family members and then end up in the system 
at the end of the day because the family members can't afford to, uh, you know, to house them. Bruh. Yeah, I think that's stupid too, but it does, it happens. You know what I mean? But, I mean, buddy. That's all she wrote. Yeah, do we have his picture? Can we bring his picture up? Oh, yeah, this looked like a... Uh, he looked like a dud. Bruh. I'm just saying he looked like a dud. Bruh. He don't look like... Because yeah, I, but, uh, what, um, cause what I want to say is that one thing that I had uh, peeped is that he, he pleaded guilty to burying her alive. I mean, I... Uh, if I was in that situation, I probably would have did the same thing because if you sit there, you go through a whole, you go through a trial and everything, and there's so much evidence already there against you. So you already know you quote, you might as well just go with the guilty plea and get it done with. But at the same time, this man ain't had the balls to to kill his wife. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Like he had to bury her. Like, you know, most people, they like, and I'm not condoning it. I'm just saying it. They, they stab their wives up. Uh, or I shoot their wives or some shit. Uh, Wait, you know? what? I mean, he probably just like, <laughs> and she ain't even go down. Like, cause they, they, they like, like, I'm just saying. <laughs> because listen, what they just said that she was probably breathing for like five hours or so or something like that. So you can only imagine that it was a, a pretty deep hole and then, you know, probably deep uh, and, and narrow. Uh, no diddy. <laughs> but that she couldn't climb out. She couldn't. It, it was to the point where she couldn't climb out. So she had some type of air there. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? So Bruh. she had any type of air there. But he didn't like stab her nothing. Like he just, he probably dazed her. He probably didn't even knock her out. He probably dazed her, and she probably fell in the hole. <laughs> All right, that's what I. I don't know. This is just, a, in my opinion, a really, really weak man. And if you abuse a woman, then, you know, you a weak man, unless she hit you first. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. Bruh. Remember what's that guy name? He's like, you know. Sometimes uh, the women, they just need a little smack. One time, you just have to smack them up. Just one time, just smack up. What was that guy's name? What was his name? What was his name again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like sometimes you just got to smack them up. <laughs> yeah, but you do that and you get out of there. Bruh. I'm not condoling violence. I'm just saying. Barry and your, your, your ex-wife alive is it's a little f up, you know what I mean? But you know, we should not condolences and um that's just it. I I'm just reporting this story real real quick. But this man he he deserved all that. Two daughters at home and you burying your wife. Come on, bro. That's just that's that's the sickness, man. Real sickness, real sickness, real sickness. Message! Just leave. I didn't even say it yet. Listen, would you let me finish? <laughs> like, this is my advice, people. If you get in a situation like this, just leave. Don't, don't, it's, it's not really necessary. I know sometimes a lot of people, they get real heartbroken because of the people that they lose and of a lost love or whatever. Aww. Yeah, we know. But sometimes, sometimes losing that person is actually a reward. Bruh. I'm just saying. It's actually a reward. Sometimes better things come down the line. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. Sometimes. it To me, it don't make no sense. It just don't make no sense. But another senseless crime. And this guy's going to get exactly what the f he deserves. All right, that's my view. That's my opinion on this particular topic. All right. 
all right if you like this content and want to hear more of it hit that subscribe button hit that like button and uh feel free to leave us a little comment there also hit that notification button if you're already a member so you know exactly when i'm dropping a new episode all right i want to thank all my listeners for listening to my crazy butt i want to thank y'all for all tuning in you could have been anywhere else in the world but you're here with me and i so so appreciate that until next episode stay blessed and not stressed i'll see y'all later folks